All right, welcome back to my channel. There's Paisley there. Um, so this is gonna be a weekend vlog. I'm gonna start it off like all my other weekend vlogs. It's Saturday and I'm about to go to spin class. I actually just did a 20 minute Pilates video. I've just been doing them off YouTube for free, so easy. I just did that to like warm up and stretch it out. They feel so good. Um, and I actually was gonna say like, oh, like I'm feeling bloated today cause I'm gonna get my period. I literally just got it as I'm done with Pilates and now I have to like run to spin class. Um, so yeah, I mean, at least it just, we'll get it over with. But I'm wearing this Lululemon bra. It's like the energy high neck one. It's in that oxide color. I love that color. This is a size eight actually, and it fits so well, the size eight. And then these are the new Petula bar, sh bar shorts in a size small. Love that color. And then this is new. I actually still have the tag on it right now because I just got it. It's the Aritzia Polar Zip Up in Rich Mocha Brown. I literally cannot stop wearing Rich Mocha Brown. Um, yeah, and I'm not wearing sneakers because I'm taking spin class. I'm taking my spin shoes. But yeah, after spin, today I'm gonna be like changing over my wardrobe. So I figured it'd be a good weekend to vlog. But I gotta go and I will see you later. Okay, so it is a little while later now. It's 3.45 actually. I did my hair and makeup because we are going to my grandpa's birthday dinner tonight. I have like two hours until we have to leave for that. So I'm going to start doing my closet. Um, but we actually sat down and watched two episodes of The Watcher. We started it last night on Netflix. We didn't realize it's like a series and not just a movie. But yeah, it's interesting just because the house that it's based off of is in Westfield, New Jersey, which is actually right near where I work in New Jersey. Um, and it's actually way creepier than I thought. If, I thought it was going to be based on the true story like completely where it's just they got letters. But they did a lot of fictional storylines and it just like made it so creepy. Um, but actually one of the storylines is based off of another murder that happened in Westfield. Which is like super interesting that they tied that in as well. Um, but yeah, so that was really scary. We couldn't really sleep last night. So it was better watching it during the day today. That's what we did. And then also, um, so Brooklyn in actually sent me their sheets. So I just washed them. This is actually my first time doing like a paid video thing. So that's what I'm going to do for on a t on, on TikTok. So they sent me their sheets and they are like paying me to do a video about like their holiday get gifting. Um, they sent me sheets and actually towels as well. Um, so I'm actually going to iron them, I think, before I put them on. But they sent me a duvet and then a sheet set. And I'm very nervous about putting this color on. I think it'll look fine. But we've always had, like, light gray. Um, but Matt wanted to try switching it up. And it is, like, more wintry. So we're going to do that as the sheets and this as the duvet. But I, like, have no idea what to do for the video. So... I'm gonna work on that tomorrow when Matt's like watching football, like how to make it not a cringy, you know, ad. <laughs> so that's that. Anyways, this is what I'm working with. These are my winter clothes. It'll be interesting to see what I have in there actually. Um, and this is my closet right now. So the thing is that like this and this, I don't really see myself putting much away. This is all dresses though. So most of this, except for like the wintry dresses, will go away and I guess we'll just replace that with sweaters. Um, so that's really it. So I'm just curious like what I even have in here and if I even still like the stuff. So let's see. Also my hair might look a little weird because I didn't want to like brush out my curls yet obviously since I still have time. All right, so let's see what we have in here. So this one has some coats which I need to hang. So this is a Cole Haan pea coat which is just like very classic pea coat. So I need to hang that up. And then this is actually a ski coat. And I might just like put that somewhere hidden because I'm only going to use it once a year when we go skiing. Okay, this is a midi skirt from Lulu's. It's like a ribbed stretchy material. And it's like a nice long length where I can wear it to work too. So I have like a drawer where I put skirts. So I'll probably put that in a drawer. And then these are also all skirts, all Aritzia. They have like the best cute little winter mini skirts. I love this one. It's Wilfred. These are really going to need a good steaming. Um, 
Same with this one. Just like houndstooth ones here. And then we have a bunch of like sweater dresses. This was actually from Lulu's. This is a size medium, so gives me some room there. And then there's gonna be just like a lot of black kind of like long sleeve turtleneck pieces. This is Aritzia. This is an Abercrombie like ribbed sweater dress. That's like good for work. Okay, and then I don't know if these are still in style. These are Spanx, like the velour velvety Spanx. I used to wear them with like long sweaters and stuff and like booties. I don't really know if they're in style right now, but I actually have them in a medium and a small. I doubt I even fit in a small right now, but I'll have to try that on when I don't have my period and feel disgusting. Some more Aritzia skirts. They're just like really good for the holidays. So this is Spanx. I doubt these fit me. Like I really doubt it. These are size small and these are like the leather material, which I used to wear so much, but I'm like, I'm probably in medium now. <laughs> and then just another like classic black long sleeve. This is a Lulu sweater. It's really cute. It has like bell sleeves. And it's just really good to wear with like black jeans or something for work or even like a black skirt. And then I got a bunch, I actually got a bunch of stuff last year, I remember from Abercrombie. And like obviously this became really in style. I, these are so comfortable, these sweater dresses. So I'm excited to wear those again. And then this is like a long rib dress from Abercrombie. This is another knitted mini skirt or midi skirt from Lulu's. Just like a sweater material, very comfy. Um, it's a little like, I feel like these patterns are a little out there for me right now, but it's also like, it's still neutral, you know, it's just like nude and black. So I feel to be getting rid of it. This is a Lulu skirt, very like thick material. Another skirt, this is um, Free People. I love this skirt so much. Wow, these really need to be ironed, but it's so comfortable, it's like so stretchy. And then another skirt. It's funny, I don't wear skirts in the summer, like literally at all, but about for some reason, like the winter, I wear them a ton. It just looks really good with like um, knee-high boots. And this is actually a skirt that I've never worn, but one of my friends gave it to me and I thought it was cute. And then same with this one. This is like a cute skirt that she gave me that I haven't worn yet, but maybe this will be the year. And I actually have a lot of bathing suits in here I could probably get rid of because I only took out like my favorite ones and kept them in the drawer this summer. But now that I didn't even think about these other ones, like I got a lot off Amazon. Like this is cute, but I just like never ended up wearing them because they were all like up here in storage. But actually this one's really cute. So maybe I'll go through that again. Okay, this I used to wear so much, but I don't know if it's too much now. Let me know. Is this like too much now, this fur vest? Like I used to wear, I like, used to be my go-to with just a tight black long sleeve, tight black jeans and like booties. And I just thought I was like so stylish, but is this like not in style anymore? I don't know, but I, I feel like it is. And I got it for like 30 bucks, I think at like Bloomingdale's. Okay, so more sweater dresses, which I love to wear in the winter. This one's Aritzia, it's like just very, very long. And just, I like, I just will have so many black sweater dresses. They're so easy to wear to work. Or just like, and just to dinner, like everywhere. So this is actually from Abercrombie. I love this one. It is like tight fitting. It's like the sweater material, but it has like a corseted kind of like sweetheart neckline. And it's just so flattering. All right, this one I'm iffy about. I always feel like red is a good color but I just like never really like red on me. So I might get rid of this one, but it's kind of cute. I don't know, it's Lulu's. And the thing is like it's, Lulu's sometimes can be like cheaper. So it's like kind of see-through-ish. Maybe I'll get rid of this cause I just would always probably grab like my black sweater dress over red. I just don't feel as confident in this color. I don't know, there's something about it that I feel like it doesn't look as good on me. And this is a, this was actually like maybe the first thing I got from Aritzia ever. Um, and it was just kind of random, but it's one of those Babaton cardigans. That's so like a very long cardigan, which is kind of random to get, but I just felt like it was a staple that can go with so many things and you can wear it to so many places. 
so yeah, that is a little fun fact. This like cardigan is I think my first Aritzia purchase. And then escalated from there. <laughs> okay, this is now a sweater vest that's like a top to wear with like a white button up and like a cute little black skirt or like leather pants. This sweater is actually kind of random, but I love it. I wore it to Christmas one year and like I just, I think it's so cute with a little velour skirt or like black jeans. It's from Lulu's and it's like very heavy and like good quality. And I think it's like a cute pink. Okay, this, see, now this is a black cardigan from Forever 21. So it's like, why did I get a 100 something dollar cardigan from Aritzia and then this from Forever 21? I don't know. Um, but I actually did just order a black cardigan from Aritzia because I was like, oh, I don't have any long black ones, even though I do. But I don't know, I just like the way the Aritzia ones feel better on me. Like, Forever 21 is obviously like, I don't know, like obviously some people are fine with that, but I don't know, I just feel like the way even the the oversizedness is, it almost looks like messy and like not as put together as like an oversized cardigan from Maritia. Like some people will bash it, but I personally just think the fit is so nice on me personally. Like maybe it's so maybe it doesn't work for you, but for me I feel like the fit is so nice. So if that comes in and I really like that, maybe I'll just get rid of this because I'd rather just have like one really nice one that I wear all the time. Cause like let me show you what I just got. Okay, like this is an Aritzia cardigan I got over the summer to wear to work as like an oversized cardigan, and it's just such nice quality and it's like a really pretty color. So I basically got this style in black. It's not the exact one because they actually don't make this one anymore, unfortunately. Cause I love this one, but like the way this is, it's just like more. It feels more put together than the Forever 21 is. I don't know how to describe it. Like you would just have to feel it and try it on in person to know like this just you feel more put together. <laughs> okay, this I got from Lulu's I clearly haven't worn yet, but I got last year is just like a plain black sweater. I honestly don't know if I need it anymore with how many sweaters I have, but I'll see when I hang everything up. Okay, this, I also did some Revolve shopping last fall. If you remember, I did some hauls on here. This is a bodysuit and I actually wore this a ton last year. It's like really flattering and just like a cool black bodysuit. Wear a lot of black, black and jeans. This is from Lulu's, I love. It's like an open, kind of like a crop top and it ties in the front and it has long sleeves and looks really good with this gray skirt. I love wearing this outfit actually to like holiday parties and then you just wear like a gold long necklace and it looks so good. This I got from Revolve last year. It's a sweater and it has um, like it crosses like that so it like shows your stomach and it's like really cute to wear with like leather pants or jeans. This is my Christmas sweater I got from Amazon. Okay, this is an Abercrombie cardigan which I actually haven't gotten the chance to wear but actually this reminds me of like something I'd get from Rizia. So like this is obviously better than the Forever 21 cardigan I got. This is definitely better quality and feels more put together. But it's just like a different kind of color. It's like a nudish color. Also, fun fact, um, definitely keep your tags on Abercrombie because like if I wanted to, I could still return this and just get store credit because I did that with one of their items. So like this was 80 bucks and clearly I haven't worn it yet. So if I find myself not grabbing it a little bit into the season, then maybe I'll just return it for store credit until I want to get something like a pair of jeans or something. Okay, so this is another Forever 21 black open cardigan. So again, I, I think I got a few different black open cardigans from them because I wasn't like I didn't like how any of them were fitting me. So I think this is the year to just kind of get rid of them and just buy one black open cardigan that I love and like always grab. Okay, this is just another sweater dress from Abercrombie. This is a dress from Maritzia. I love this dress. This is like a good Thanksgiving dress uh, or like Christmas Eve and it's like a really pretty nudish color and it just like has a really nice fit and looks really good with knee high boots. This I love this sweater from Aritzia. It has a square neck and looks really cute tucked in to one of those mini skirts with knee high boots. Just like a really nice stretchy, I know it has like lint on it, stretchy material and it's so comfortable. It's the Wilfred brand. 
Okay, and then just a lot of, um, so this is another black um, turtleneck long dress. The other one I showed you a while ago I think was ribbed. This one is more tight fitting. And, and this actually looks really good. Like if I wear the open Aritzia cardigan with it, one of like knee high boots and really easy outfit to wear out to dinner. And here's another black sweater dress. I'm telling you I have so many. They're just like, they're easiest thing to wear. Okay, and this is actually really old from Zara. And this used to be another one of like go-to outfits before I ever did shopping like I do now. Um, and like when I found one thing I wore, like liked, I'd wear all the time. So this is from Zara. It's like a long sleeve and it comes, the top has like a, um, the neck rolls over and it falls off your shoulder. And I thought it looked so good with like black jeans. I felt so stylish. But I never really got to wear it recently, so I'm going to try it again this year because it's very comfortable and it was just like different than a normal black turtleneck because it's like off the shoulder. Okay, this outfit I actually wore a good amount of times. It is a little cheap feeling from Lulu's. Um, like it gets very like wrinkled and snag easily. This is like a mini skirt and then this top. It was in my Lulu's haul last year, but I actually really liked wearing this. Like for example... Oh yeah, she came here in December, like, because last year I had a bridal shower in November, I think it was. And I'm like, what do you wear to a bridal shower in November when it's, like, kind of colder out? Because you can't wear, like, a sundress. So I wore this with, like, nude, um, clear heels, and it looked really cute and, like, very in season. So I think this is good to have for those kinds of situations. So they actually have a bridal shower in December this year with another... It's not the same group of people, so I could definitely wear this. <laughs> okay, this is from Aritzia. It's in Rich Mocha Brown, which is my favorite color. I actually might wear it tonight. Um, it is just like a very oversized cardigan. So, like I said, I'm going out to dinner to my grandpa with my family tonight for my grandpa's birthday, and I think I'm wearing this. So it's like literally like 70 degrees out today. It's really warm, even though it's the fall. So I think I'm gonna wear this um, dress from Aritzia. It's in rich mocha brown. It's like a midi length and then I could wear this like sweater off my shoulder because it's also in rich mocha brown. I'll either wear this sweater or I can wear like the other oversized sweater I showed you which is more of a cream off-white color because that would also go. So I'm gonna like try both on and see what looks better. Right, this is a sweater dress from Lulu's I got last year. Or Lulu's? Yeah it's from Lulu's and this one is just like Definitely a thinner material, but still like super comfortable to wear to work and like very long. So these dresses are just so good for work. One of my favorite Aritzia purchases is this dress. I'm sure they still have it. It's like their sweater dress. They have it in a million colors. This is like a camel color and I get a size small. It's the Wilfred brand from them. And I used to, I like remember I wore this to Thanksgiving with my Gucci belt and like black knee high boots and I felt just amazing in it. So maybe I'll do that again this year because it's been a while. And then to work, it's really easy. Like I just don't wear a belt and knee high boots and it's so work appropriate. So I love that, such good quality. Okay, this is actually really old from like Misguided or something. Yeah, Misguided and it's just a crop top nude sweater. Not good material, but this is cute with just like leather pants or something. If I wanted to like wear a crop sweater because I actually don't have many of that as you could see. Um, I did and I got rid of most of them except for a few like this one and then this one is basically the same thing just in black and then this is a sweater dress from, uh, from Abercrombie I got last year that needs to be wrinkled but fits so well and it's this is a really good quality it's like so soft almost there this is from Zara I got last year again it's a, another cropped sweater but it's not that too cropped and it's white and I don't really have any like white ones uh yeah from Zara and this is a size so this is a size small and then lastly this is from Aritzia I got last year that I never got to wear so maybe this is my year is um one of their popular I think it's actually pretty popular it's the Rebecca turtleneck and it is like a tiny bit cropped it comes like the top of your pants let's say and I was thinking this would be really really cute to wear with one of my mini skirts instead of wearing black all the time it's like in the soft orchid color, which I think is so pretty. But yeah, so that's everything. My bed is now a mess, so I'm going to put all this away and take out all my dresses. I'll tell you if I get rid of anything, but I probably won't because 
I think I'd rather decide how I feel next year when I'm putting it all back being like did I miss this or not or am I excited to wear this this year um so yeah that, that's what I'll do all right it's a while later and I took out all the dresses and then put everything here um and I actually took the time to steam everything before putting it in. So it's it took like a really long time. So I'm going to organize this tomorrow because I need to start getting ready for dinner. Um, but I'm happy that I steamed it all because that would have really annoyed me. And that's the worst part. However, I didn't get to the skirts. So the skirts are still in here. So I'm going to steam that tomorrow and put them away. And then also go through my bathing suits to get rid of some. Those are just like the jackets I pulled out. I'm going to have to hang. And then that's all of the dresses I pulled out in that one. So that's all away. So that felt good. The skirts and stuff shouldn't take too long. And just reorganizing tomorrow. Um, but yeah, now I'm just going to steam my dress for tonight. Okay, so this is the dress from Aritzia. It fits perfectly. Size small, rich mocha brown. And instead of wearing the matching sweater, I actually just wore this new sweater I got from Aritzia, which is the Cran. Vera, she's sad we're leaving. Cranberry sweater in size small in the Heather Birch. I really like it. Um, it's very comfy. And then my YSL bag. And then just shuts wedges. They're like the lower ones, so they're super comfortable. But yeah, I'm actually really hot from steaming. And I probably shouldn't have done that with my hair because now it's all crazy. But I feel bad leaving you. All right. Okay, it is now the next day. It is Sunday. And... What do you think I'm doing? I'm getting ready to go to take a class at Lifetime. So I am taking a dumbbell circuit class. I like taking the Sunday 9.45 a.m. one. I actually haven't gotten to take it in a little while, so I feel like it's going to be really hard today. But yeah, I'm excited to wear all black, and I think I'm going to get this shirt, like two more of these shirts, so I feel like I'm going to want to wear it like all winter. It's just the Lululemon long sleeve Swiftly Tech in the race length. I can't remember what size this is. It's probably a size four, but I probably will get a size six as well because a four is obviously pretty tight, which is also flattering. And then just my six inch Lulu Align shorts and then just my Adidas Ultra Boost, which is kind of interesting. I feel like the Swiftly doesn't look like the same black as the new Lou, obviously. It looks like almost like a heathered gray black, but yeah it's just so comfortable and if you know this it doesn't like um smell so that's great but she'll just be chilling here we went for a nice walk this morning it's nice and crisp okay so i'm actually back now i'm really sweaty but i came back real quick to make a shake so i'm just drinking that but i'm gonna go to target so i got my new puffer bag i don't puffer bag i don't think i showed that on my youtube yet i think just really TikTok, but yeah, it's the Lululemon little puffer. It's so cute, it's like so tiny, um, and it is the perfect day to wear it. So yeah, I'm going to go to Target to get an ironing board. So after I finish that shake, I'm gonna head over. And um, I realized like I haven't really shown Matt. We've, he, he, we've been taking separate cars to the gym because we just like, he likes to spend a long time there and I don't, I just like take my class and kind of get out. So like yesterday, he went to the gym early and did arms and then we did the cycling class together and then today he we took Paisley for a walk and then he went to the gym to do chest um, and then he wanted to walk after and I just did the class and left so he's still like at the gym walking which I'm like I don't have time for that so we've been taking separate cars. <laughs> Alright it's now like 1 15 and I am just such, in such a bad mood now from driving- hi! <laughs> from driving around trying to find a um, an ironing table because I went to Target and then I went to Home Depot and Home Depot didn't have it either. So then I just came back and that just made me so mad, not to mention it's my time of the month, so I'm just like irrationally angry. And I just feel like I have so much to do now and that was such a time waster because now I like packed up all the sheets and I'm luckily my parents live down the road, so I'm just gonna go there and iron it. And I'm gonna come here and film it and then I still have to grocery shop, potentially meal prep. I still need to finish my closet. I wanted to clean the house, um, so yeah. And then Matt is at his parents watching football, so at least he's like preoccupied for the day. But I'm gonna go to my parents and iron the sheets. I just got back from my parents' house and I checked on my laundry and literally like it came off from the wall and is 
saying error and I'm so confused. This is so freaking annoying. Okay, it's kind of dark right now, but I finally finished. I like made the bed, but I then undid it again. And it looks really good. The sheets feel so nice. Um, but this is a little messy right now. I have like all these other towels over here in our robes. So obviously I didn't want to get that in the product shot because it's not Brooklyn in. Um, but like they gave us those towels and those towels. So I filmed that. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna clean this up, figure out what's going on with the washer. And it's four o'clock, so I need to get to the grocery store. And I still need to do my closet, but happy this is done because I think I have plenty of content to like put something together. I basically just pretended like Paisley took a nap in bed and I was making bed and like washing my hands. <laughs> All right, it is 5.40 back from grocery shopping. So I got lemons for lemon water, bananas. I like second smart sweets. Usually have these for breakfast. Uh, for lunch, I'm gonna uh, prep chicken breasts. I'm gonna dip them, dip them in almond flour and put them in the air fryer as like chicken nuggets and then make like sweet potato fries. And then for dinner, I'm gonna have salmon in the air fryer with some asparagus and I'm gonna make rice and have it with like some spinach with cabbage on top. Uh, I got some raspberries, some grapes, some dried mango, some pea kitchen chocolate and coconut aminos. And I'm gonna put this away and then take you for a walk. Wanna go for a walk? <gasps> yes, yeah, go for a walk. Okay, so it's 6.20. I currently have sweet potato fries in there, cooking some rice, and then cooking my chicken nuggets in there. So this is just part of my meal prep for lunch and dinner this week, but tonight we're actually gonna order sushi. Uh, so this is strictly just prep, but as that's cooking, I'm gonna try to knock out some of my closet since it's just like looking messy up there. Okay, so I'm basically just gonna be done for now. I organize this into all dresses like over here this is all of my dresses now not really much color and then over here are just like sweaters like long sleeves and just like yeah sweaters and then down and then this pretty much stayed the same i took a few pieces out that for summary but that's like my dress pants uh just some work tops or going out tops uh, that's actually workout stuff um these are like all body suits and cardigans down here and that's all mats. Um, and then the skirts, I'm just gonna steam next weekend, but I, so I just let them here for now. And I'm gonna try in my Sphinx another time. I just don't feel like it right now. And so that's it for here. So I'm gonna put these two back in storage. This is what I'm donating. And then next week, I, th I want to go through, I feel like I say this like every month, I'm gonna go through some of my workout stuff, I think. Cause I mean, I was obviously wasn't wearing leggings much during the summer, mostly shorts. So I probably will start wearing leggings, but I just don't know if I really care to wear a lot of the colored ones I have. I'm just like sick of it. So I kind of just want like a few things and just have really comfortable uniform that I wear. You know, why do I need so much color? I don't know. <laughs> also these work pants came in the mail. So I've already talked about these before. Uh, these are from Lulu's, they're super cheap. Um, I just got them for like 30 bucks because they were on sale. Um, and I wore the black ones a lot, but they the zipper broke. So I was like, perfect, I'll get more. So I got it in black again, this like gray color and also white, which is actually not see-through. It's like really double line, nice and thick. Um, so yeah, these are obviously way different than my normal work pants that I wear, which are, wear, which are the effortless because there's no like, fine or anything and these are more of like a 7 8 length so they're shorter um so they just like fit differently but I got a size medium um, I'm gonna try in the white these kind of seem like I wonder if they'll like look good on me but not right now I don't feel like it right now but I'll link them down below because they're a super good price and I like the way they fit me all right so here is the meal prep all done the chicken nuggets and fries and I actually had one it's so good and then I just prepped the rice for dinner. And like I said, I'll just do the salmon the night up. Just pop it in the air fryer for 15 minutes with salad and asparagus. And that is that. All right, it's now 7.30. Sorry if this vlog was like really stressing you out today. I don't know why I was so stressed. But I'm going to take a quick shower before the sushi gets here. Because I've just been like sweating and running around all day. So I just want to feel fresh and clean. And now I can just relax the rest of the night. That shower gave me an excuse to use the new Brooklyn in towel and it's actually really nice, like very thick, big towel, like dense and soft. So 
definitely relieved that it's actually nice. <laughs> I am super excited to actually sleep in this tonight too because this is really, really soft and they're like, and I actually iron the sheets. So I'm really excited to get into bed tonight. All right, finally get to relax. Sushi came just in time. Got my white wine and we're watching Yankee game. Receive a loyalty credit of up to $1,000 on select EMW certified models. 